In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to add custom fonts. Here in Android and iOS, there's our, a default font family that React Native supports. For example, Ropoto, Ropoto, but Ropoto is only in iOS. And there is also, in Android, sorry, in Android. And there is also a veneer, and that that's only works on iOS. We want to add our custom fonts, any fonts that we want, and make it work in Android and iOS. So let's go and and dig a font. Let's type uh, Google fonts, browse fonts. Let's type, for example, um, there is a Roboto, Robic. Let's, let's select any, any font family that we want to use. There is Lato here. Let's let's pick this. Pick this Lato. Let's also pick um, Railway Roboto Slab. Let's also pick this. Let's download this family. Just press in download family. Let's download this family too. Here in our download folder, there is our fonts we've downloaded. There is Lato and Roboto Slab. Let's export it and add it to our React Native project. That's our React Native project. Let's create a folder inside this folder, uh, another folder called, called fonts, SRC fonts. And let's add those fonts to it. Let's add those fonts here. This is the Lato font and that's the Roboto font. Let's add them. Great. Now, uh, we just need to link those, those fonts. How to link them? To link them, we need to add, um, we need to add a file called react-native.config.js to link those fonts. And inside this fo file, we're gonna just type module.exports equals to project Let's add I Android as an empty object and iOS as an empty object too. And that's the, the important step and it's the assets. And in our assets, we just need to put the source of our fonts. And this source is .src fonts to link those, uh, those fonts. If you want to get them, if you want to get them from Xcode, from VS Code, just double right click and just type, just copy relative path, lock src dash fonts, and we have to do to put this dot here to ensure that we have uh, at the same root, okay, of React Native Config and src. Now, all, to, all what we need just to save and just to type that code in px react native assets and press enter. And if we see this message here linking to iOS and info linking to project Android, here now we have, uh, we have linked our, our fonts. Now, let's Make sure that we've linked it correctly. Just uh, rerun the app, Yarn iOS and Yarn Android. We've just are running our apps to test them. That's Android. Now let's test it on Android. That's the custom font. Let's. Uh, Use uh, just pick the the family name and give him font family. Font family is Lato Black. Great, isn't it? Let's let's pick another font family. Let's copy this text and add a new text with a new font family. 
let's make the, this font family. Let's pick another another font family called Robotus Lab Old or Robotus Lab Extra Light. Rename and just put it here. Wow, <laughs> great, isn't it? Let's uh, let's try one more time. Let's uh, pick this semi pole Rupoto font family. Wow, those custom fonts are great, aren't they?